All right, I'm standing here with Dr. Vodi Bauckham. We are at the Christian Heritage Homeschooling Conference, and Dr. Bauckham just delivered a, a very foundational keynote address, an opening keynote. Dr. Bauckham, you talked about getting the gospel right. Why yes. is that so important in homeschooling? You know, if, if we're not talking gospel, we're talking law. So if we're not getting the gospel right, the only thing left for us is law and legalism. Um, so if we're going to be doing what we're doing, and if this is about discipling our children, um, this is about us inculcating the gospel in their lives, teaching them the gospel, and teaching them the implications of the gospel. Um, so we got to have that right. You talked about some errors that some of us have, and, and one of them hit me right between the eyes, and that was the gospel is not just how to get saved. Yeah. Talk more. Yeah. You know, people, oftentimes people confuse the gospel with the plan of salvation, often because we've referred to those as gospel presentations. Um, and so because of that, there, there's, there's this sort of longstanding error of, yeah, the gospel is just for lost people. The gospel is just... Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, the four spiritual laws, the Romans road, the whatever you use to help lead somebody to faith. Um, and then we sort of put it down. Now, the problem with that thinking is, if that's the case, then you lead your children to Christ with the gospel and then you put it down. What are you then discipling in, them in? There's nothing left but law, you know? Um, so we need to help people understand that uh, the gospel has implications for every aspect in every area of life. So then if that's not the gospel, what is the gospel? The gospel is the announcement of what God has accomplished. It's the announcement of what Christ has accomplished on our behalf to the Father's glory through the cross. It's the announcement of what God has done to redeem lost sinners. The gospel is a message. The word, the word gospel means announcement. It is the announcement of the message of what God has done and the implications of that message of what God has done. Interestingly enough, the book of Ephesians, for example, it has two halves. The first half is all indicatives. It's just what God has done, what God has accomplished. The second half, you have indicatives and imperatives. You know, therefore, this is how you live. But it's because of the gospel that we are able and motivated to live that way. So if you don't have the first half, if you don't have the gospel, which is that enabling and that motivation, then all you've got is the second half, which is do this. That's not good news. No, it's not. You, you did say too that uh, the gospel is not, it's not man-centered. Yeah. It's God-centered. Yeah, absolutely. The gospel is about what God has done, about what God has accomplished. God is at the center of the gospel, not man. And it's important that we communicate that, especially because we're dealing with sinners who are man-centered to begin with. And one of the things that we need to do is we need to come out of ourselves and recognize who we are in light of who God is, recognize that we are sinners in need of a Savior, um, recognize that we need God. It's not that God needs us, it's that we need God. Absolutely. No. No. And lastly, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, you know, Vodi, uh, you are a conference favorite. This is our 10th year doing this. Uh, you've done it five times. You should be on the payroll. Have I really? Uh, <laughs> you have. You know, so yeah. why do you keep coming back to Christian Heritage? I, I, man, I don't know. I love it here. I really do. This is, this is my favorite homeschool conference. Um, and I, I've done a number of them in a number of different places. Um, I've, I've said that here publicly uh, before, um, but, but this is. This is absolutely my favorite homeschool conference. I love being in this part of the country. Um, I, I, I love to see um, th this sort of mixture of Canadians that come down. Um, and I, these, they, they do it well here. You know, they do it extremely well here. And so I, I'm honored to have been here uh, as many times as, as I have. Well, we are honored to have you here once again, and especially for our 10th anniversary. And of course, uh, Christian Heritage will be praying for you as you and your family move up to Africa to uh, follow God's calling. Amen. Thank you. For more information on the Christian Heritage Family Discipleship and Homeschooling Conference, visit them on the internet at christianheritageonline.org.